changing the way districts work. For instance, um, I, in Zurich we have a lot of districts where you actually don't need a car because all the activities, no school, um, uh, buying something, everything you can do in walking distance. No? And by doing that, no, people don't buy a car and it, 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 it's not felt like um, actually they would like to have a car and, that, and they are not allowed to have it, but they simply don't need it because the environment was built in a way that they don't need it. And I think this is what policy needs to, to, to do. They have to change the environment. So a sustainable lifestyle, uh, a lifestyle in harmony with nature is the easiest way to go. 15 minute cities, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 15 minute cities. That's what we're talking about tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. So, you know, the globalists at the World Economic Forum, at the World Health Organization, and at the United Nations and other globalist bodies like that, uh, have been talking about a thing called 15 minute cities. Now that's where basically, um, you know, everything you would need in your life is, you know, about five or 10 kilometers from home. Does that ring a bell, ladies and gentlemen? Does that ring a bell if you've recently lived three, the last three years under lockdown? Um, you know, so, and they talk about this being a kind of boon for climate change. There's a city uh, in the United Kingdom, Oxford, which is obviously the university town, that have put up these bollards to keep different parts of the city kind of isolated in relation to vehicles. Um, you know, from, from different other parts of Oxford. And they're doing this as a kind of green initiative and just to test. This is one of the first, I guess, trials of this 15 minute city um, kind of concept, but this is something that they want to roll out all over the world. And it's also part of, you know, the smart cities program that Melbourne has signed up to. And obviously too, it's also deeply suspicious because of, again, what I said about COVID. I mean, this was the whole point of COVID. I mean, do you remember when you couldn't go 10 or 15 minutes away from your house because, and really did that stop COVID? In any way? Of course it didn't. If, if, if COVID was about, you're going to get it at the local cafe, you're going to get it at the local McDonald's, which remained open for the whole pandemic, you're going to get it at the local supermarket, you're going to get it at the service station. It was all nonsense. So, but again, it reveals the truth that this COVID thing was all about control and so is 15 minute cities, ladies and gentlemen. And that I think is what's been going on and what is going on at the moment with the push, you know. Um, and you see it too. I mean, you know, I, I, uh, near a friend of mine who uh, lives over in uh, Coburg, she, at the top of her street, she has this uh, kind of like, they closed this road and they built this little mini park at the top of the street. And they, now it stops traffic going, but I remember thinking, why would you do that? Because this was a kind of through road for the whole area that they've blocked. And it was again, it's got to do something to do with this 15 minute city thing. Like they want to keep you local. Um, and uh, obviously they want that, you know, I've done reports from Tiger Mountain on this topic in relation to, you know, you won't drive, you know, you won't eat meat. Um, you know, they want to control you and turn your local neighborhood into a little digital, not digital, but like um, open air kind of concentration camp, ladies and gentlemen, of which you can't go 20 minutes beyond your house or 15 minutes. So that I think is the motivation. And obviously if you value freedom, if you value our constitution, if you value um, basic human decency, I think this is ridiculous. It's also going to stop anybody going and seeing your relations who might live over on the other side of town if they ever manage to bring it. And I don't think they will be able to, but obviously they're going to try. And obviously they were able to do it under the guise of COVID. So again, note that it's all about control and um, just be aware of this term 15, 20 minute cities. They're talking about it. I think Daniel Andrews mentioned it once. They're obviously talking about it a lot of Davos at the World Economic Forum. And obviously it came up a lot during the whole COVID crisis. So just be thinking about that. 15 minute cities, ladies and gentlemen, reject them.